I've known this recipe before. Everyone was stunned when they tried it. Very easy and simple and delicious and tasty. It's the best homemade pizza from scratch. And this is my first time making pizza. I was so intimidated, but I followed this recipe online. It will be linked on the description. And as always, if you enjoy this kind of video, you can ask me any question about the recipe. I'll be more than happy to answer you down below. It is Chaff's Kiss. Mm. Yeast, Amira, is very important for in this recipe and I use all X papas flour so I researched my <laughs> I researched everywhere on how to make the best pizza so here's all you need to know to make them make the great pizza at home like I did first of all let's start with the yeast I mean what kind of mo monster doesn't like pizza hmm? I'm never gonna buy pizza after this huh? So it's a great opportunity to go crazy with the toppings also. So to make sure you really nail your homemade pizza, here is all your uh, best tips on the most important part, the dough. You can also find more recipe on the description down below for precise measurements. Measurements is key on making your pizza the best pizza ever. So follow the recipe. I'll link it down below in the description box, the recipe that I followed. So first of all, for your dough, get the water to the right temperature to bloom the yeast. I cannot stress you how much this is important. You need to get the, your water right for, for the yeast to bloom between 105 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius, like not like, like lukewarm here. So that's what I did. And also you need to put sugar so that you can feed in. The yeast can have food to feed in on. Trust me on this. So pure on your water and it should be warm enough to dissolve active and activate the yeast. But not too hot or it may kill it. So that's really important. Your water temperature is very, very important. It's a tricky balance. And the best way to make sure you have the right temperature is to use a food thermometer if you have it. So me, I didn't have it. So I just like used my finger and it was all good. If you don't own one, however, you can just fill the water. It shouldn't feel hot or cold, but it should be at body temperature. So measure your your yeast. All the like uh, measurements will be on the description down below. So look out for that, guys. That is very, very, very key. And have measuring spoons. I find out measuring spoons are really nice. So me have the teaspoons, the half teaspoons, as you can see. So. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. So after that, make sure your yeast is alive and reacting. You might you put the like follow the recipe like the instruction for the yeast that you've bought. For mine, the Jomos one, it said that I should wait for it for ten minutes. First of all, I'm stirring it so that everything is well coated with the water. And then I will, a few minutes after you turn in the water, it should start bubbling and forming like this. If you don't see any reaction, it could mean your yeast was too old or that the water wasn't the right temperature. You just have to uh, throw it away and start some fresh yeast until you get a reaction, like the reaction you're seeing that I'm getting right now. So after that, you have to put it away for 10 minutes. Uh, you you do it sorry guys it's my first time doing voiceover so let me know down below if you like this kind of videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe so use a clean film <laughs> use a clean thing english is not my first language you'll know that by now and cover your yeast and let it rest for 10 minutes yeast don't need like hair you need to like for it to 
have a reaction and perform and all that good stuff this is very very important i cannot stress to you how much this is important if you don't do this right i don't think your pizza will come the way you want to so do as i say and follow all the instructions the measurements everything i will put the link on the description i follow the tasty recipe guy like i follow many 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 people's recipe but i feel like this one is the like i research thoroughly so just trust me when i say use this recipe it's the most like straightforward and yeah just let your yeast rest for 10 minutes or whatever your instruction of the yeast that you used tells you yeah this part is so important i can't stress you how much this part is it's very 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 important and make sure it no hair it no hair is uh allowed in the formation of the yeast guys don't forget to support the channel on paypal came to bed with 16 at gmail.com to make this more episodes yeah so that's after 10 minutes the yeast is now ready if you don't have something like this after 10 minutes just throw that yeast away and try another one okay so the next thing is we are gonna when it comes to kneading the dirt don't be lazy and i use eggs all purpose please use all purpose don't use just your party use all purpose okay and uh, yeah it's really take time to do it so measure as i've told you before measurements will be on the description box a good tip to make sure you spend enough time on this is to set a 10 minute timer on your phone and knead the dirt until the alarm goes off so this part was not really difficult for me because you know i'm the queen of making chapatis and mandazi so the kneading part was easy peasy if you had a um, hand mixer or something like machine good to you good for you you can use that but make this tip like use like put a timer and knead the dirt so here is the part where you put all your dry ingredients make sure when you're putting the salt the salt don't touch the sugar part <sighs> i don't know how, how like follow the recipe guys if i have known this recipe i would have saved so much on the pizza things so i'm dropping all the measurements are in the description box below so go and check that out so yeah so you mix your dough and everything and just make sure all the ingredients are mixed well together <laughs> i'm sorry guys it's the first time so that's when you pour in your your yeast formation your yeast onto the dark and then it just um i usually use this trick you know that mikau gali use it to make your da it works wonders you'll see I'm telling you this is a tip you only get tips from Kim Tobea YouTube channel but they subscriber on the road on to get 30,000 subscribers and it will mean so much if you guys do subscribe to my YouTube channel like let, let a girl reach 30,000 subscribers my birthday is really soon June 21st so I'm accepting early gifts <laughs> PayPal Pesa, you know how he did. Thank you so much. Every measurement, the water, everything, just on the description. I can't persist enough. So you make your dab. Just be careful not to over over pour your water. That's really good if you measure. Like measurement is key on making this da and this pizza be the best homemade pizza you've ever had. And I'm telling you, me pizza in any party like 1000 no this this uh da will will be able to make like two like two extra large pizzas in my opinion yeah it will i'll show you you'll see so yeah so that's why i'll, I'll need it and I, di I didn't like make the pizza all of them at once I put aside another one the longer you put you wait for your your pizza to rise 
to rise yeah your pizza dough to rise the good your pizza you will have so overnight is highly recommended so the second pizza i waited for overnight but this first pizza i waited for like two two hours for it to rise and then another thing olive oil you need to have olive oil olive oil is so important like the 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 taste of the olive oil and the pizza like it goes it blends so well so always like shop your things like this all of these things that i shopped at Carrefour. yeah so pizza this is the most important part guys it will take time the most time you'll take is for making the pizza dough but if you get it everything it will be so nice so my dough is ready make it sure it's like sticky don't worry no don't worry so much you always add flour as you go that way it's much better because you don't need a hard dough you need like a soft squishy dough just do whatever i'm doing on the screen okay do it and then you just you need to roll the dough on top of itself push forward and repeat do that as a do that second time until you have like a really nice bowl of pizza dough just to, okay let's repeat again you need to roll the dough on top of itself push forward and repeat do as i say the teacher said what i need this video to get a thousand likes because me i think i've made i've i've cracked the the meaning this pizza is even like it's so good like Oh my god my sisters are for la balloon so yeah to do when you're you're done kneading press the da with your finger if it string back right away it's ready so i think mine is not ready yet so that's why we keep on repeating the process of kneading hmm? cooking videos is very very hard okay you see you see how it's uh, looking mm, 10 minutes i put an alarm put an alarm and you will see the results mm? yeah it's looking kind of good right do that as i told you you can shape it like that and do the kneading one and if you press your finger down it strings back right away it's ready so mine is ready Again, you coat the bowl where the dough will rise with olive oil and coat the top of the dough too. So that's what I'm doing. There. This way it won't stick to the bowl or the killing field when it rises. So you put the killing film and wait for it to rise. Uh -huh. if you can you can let the dough da okay i'm really sorry if i'm butchering the da do things uh Swahili is my first language and i'm from kenya guys so please don't butcher me <laughs> if you can let the da rise overnight that will be awesome right yeah that will be so awesome overnight i'll show you my two pizzas i cooked at different times so this one I had to cook after two hours so that you can see, you can see. So if you don't have that time for that, also you can do, you can let the dough rise for a one hour. We'll also do, but don't like, like, wait, this is a process. The more the dough rises, the more like you'll have a really good pizza. Yeah. But if you can wait, you'll get a better more flavorful result with an overnight rice i'll show you the other one that i waited for the overnight because i told you this pizza da was able to uh, have two big large pizzas I, th I think it's large so after that i made my Sweet. toppings i decided you can do any toppings you want you can do bacon you can do whatever you want me i decided to cook my ground beef here we call them mystery so here it's after two hours and you can see my da has risen need for another you need to need again need for another minute or two to even out the da and release some of the hair bubbles like i'm doing right now okay 
you need to do this and you need to wait for one or two minutes for the dye and release some of the hair bubbles so you need to deflate the dye and even out the hair pockets that form during the first rise see we have a nice ball of fur now you need to preheat your oven to the highest temperature you have on your oven settings mine is 355 i think degrees celsius so you need to preheat that i cannot stress you enough how this is important preheat the oven you'll thank me later so we need to divide this way when you cut the dough in four parts four parts you can see how the dye is really nice mm -hmm. i need to start like a k-tri pizza hut huh it sounds so nice we're going to do we're going to do so much more so you divide into four parts to shape it each portion will be even and alike in texture so we have that for for whatever four portions our dye recipe makes this recipe makes four medium pizzas yeah oh two large and nini so now you need to make your your sauce you need to make your pizza sauce and that pizza sauce recipe i think it's somewhere well let me show you sorry i meant you need to preheat the oven as high as your oven will allow for me my oven uh, between for 50 500 degrees Celsius, like any we here in Kenya, it's 230 to 260 degrees Celsius. So mine is in 260 degrees Celsius. Plus, and I also place your the one that you're going to the one that you're going to use. So now to make a pizza sauce. Meanwhile, we are going to make the pizza sauce, make the tomato sauce, whatever. Add the salt. Add the balsamic vinegar. Add all your ingredients as you can as you know by now the all the recipes the measurements are on the description down below and add the salt to the can of tomatoes and puree with an with a blender that you have i used also basil and parsley those are the ones that i have also use oregano but guys at this point i've like bought so many ingredients and i was uh, running out of money so i bought whatever i could afford so i cut out oregano but the next time i'm gonna make sure i have all the spices because the herbs are the one that make this pizza sauce be so 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 good let me try like trust me when i say that and blend this like this this it's the best blend away blend 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 and tra or transfer to a blender or food processor and puree puree until it's smooth guys add all of these things that have, you've seen me adding here it is it is what makes the pizza like with different flavors and textures i'll just show you how i'm doing mine just do as i say okay this will be the best the, the best pizza you've ever had hmm? i'm telling you hmm? Hmm. and uh, yeah just like mm, this uh, and i told you like this tomato uh tomato puree like tomato sauce puree it was so much and you only need like so kidogo so another thing I had to cook my sauce you can choose not to do that but I chose to cook it at least when you cook it you can preserve it for longer yeah because I use this sauce to make a pasta I'm telling you like I had bunches I'll show you how I'm preserving them so you need to cook your tomato sauce a tomato what tomato sauce until it thickens up because you don't want it to be watery you want it to be thick so that it it will, it will make not it will not make the pizza da the pizza crust soggy this is very very important so i added lemon the reason why i added lemon is just because i love lemon the the tangy taste of lemon i love it so much so just add the lemon like a squeeze of lemon because remember we've had like the white vinegar and the balsamic vinegar so we just need a tad bit of the lemon juice 
so after that you cook this uh, puree for like 10 minutes you add sugar the reason why you add sugar I was so skeptical but trust the process guys trust this recipe the reason why i'm adding sugar is for it to cancel the acidity of the tomatoes i had to research guys research like give it a thumbs up thumbs up please yes so and then i added more garlic because i love garlic spice i love garlic i added the the garlic you can like put the garlic kidogo if you don't want the garlic but trust me this is so good like oh my god this is the best i'm gonna make this again and uh, the reason why i add corn flour starch is to make the sauce more thicker because we need this sauce tomato sauce to be thick why we need it to be thick we need it to be thick so when we are we are applying it on our pizza crust it will make our pizza crust soggy do as i say this is my recipe and you will do as i say so you let it cook on low heat please for like um 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes so the recipe details ready. instructions everything in my way care book or description box do it so it's after 10 minutes you can see already the texture the color you guys the aroma that we are having here the aroma what what me hmm. so now we're going back once the dough has rested take one portion and start by poking the dough with your fingertips then stretch and press the dough into a thin crust make it thinner than you think mm. it should be as it will slightly so shrink good. and puff up during baking sprinkle or, or a little bit of olive oil onto an it i'm sorry guys i'm trying to read and trying to like please give a girl a thumbs up uh-huh Yes, so you do as I you see me doing. So at this point, you'll have uh, you'll have the, your your preheated baking sheet will have uh, like it will have uh, already gotten some heat. You can see that. So I just use the normal oven baking sheet that came with my oven. You can use the pizza stone if you have it. Me, I didn't have it, but I'm thinking of investing in one. Yeah. So this i'm using whatever i have you know came to i use whatever i have so at this point you just want to collect what am i doing you want to collect your pizza and put it on your baking sheet your preheated baking sheet it's hot guys so be careful and uh, just continue shaping your pizza the way you like remember this is a homemade pizza so it's allowed to go whichever shape it wants me like it, like my pizza whichever shape so now you take your tomato paste no, not tomato paste. Now you take your tomato puree that you read. No, no, no. Oh, before that, uh, I saw like this is a different one. I saw like you you put your you put back your pizza crust in the oven for like two minutes. Don't make it don't make it uh, last longer so that you can you you know. In the meantime, you take you prepare your cheeses. I'm using cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. I'm making margarita pizza, I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, because it just needs the, uh, that. And then the other one, the second one, oh, this one, oh, I made, I made two pizzas, remember? So I made the margarita pizza and I made, uh, I don't know if I can call, uh, the other one had, it was margarita and then it had mist, uh, toppings of mist ground beef that I prepared myself. So I made two pizzas. Oh guys, came to K Tribe. Like comment, like give my my pizzas name. K Tribe, K Tribe Margarita, K Tribe. Uh, what? What's it called? Comment down below. Comment, 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 guys. Comment. So I'm making my pizza, and these cheeses, guys. I bought them. There was an offer at Carrefour, like 24 to 10 percent discount 
and that's when I shopped guys and I'm telling you I'm never gonna buy pizza again how many times have I said that never never ever ever am I going to buy pizza again I'm gonna be making my pizzas you all I'm gonna make my family my pizza like they enjoyed this pizza huh wow wow I can talk so the pizzas were like you can say less than for the two pizzas they were total price were less than 1500 and remember i'm making like four medium you get four medium pizzas with this recipe or you get two big two large pizzas if you are doing this it will have been how much four thousand you're buying four thousand now you've saved huh? and it's much better and it's much more ingredients because you all know like the way they they minimize our pizza toppings kwanza cheese so this pizza try it and if you try it tag me tag me tag me came to bear at came to bear on instagram or on twitter or on tiktok tag me i will reshare your your picture or your video i will reshare it on my insta story and on on youtube stories by the way from now on henceforth tag me whenever you make something that you got inspired by me or i inspired you to do it tag me and i'll reshare it guys so yeah i'm making the cheese i don't know why my obsession with cheese i've never been a person of cheese pizza is not my favorite food but i have cravings i sometimes get this urge that i just want to eat pizza and i'm so happy that now i know how to make the pizza so yeah you're just grating make sure you have fresh don't buy the pre-shredded cheese no you have to shred the cheese yourself there's a difference guys trust me there's a difference shred the cheese yourself this is homemade for a reason and it is the best i'm telling you it's the best hmm? so that's my cheese the mozzarella one i i noticed i didn't need i did not need to shred that much i could have just part because it's a soft mozzarella so by now our pizza crust is ready it's ready you can see the way it is yeah it is ready i know this is kind of different i follow it. I, I i told you i googled like i research every I research everything before i start doing it so now your crust is ready to spread your tomato sauce to add your tomato sauce before you add your tomato sauce apply the olive virgin extra olive oil also got this virgin extra oil. guys please don't laugh please don't laugh because this was my first time making this pizza so it burned so at least reduced maybe to one minute when it is the oven cooking and the video is so hard so yeah you add your tomato your sauce and ingredients of your preference these are the ingredients that i had you can add anything you want that's the goodness of pizza you can add any toppings that you have i should have put a little bit of the tomato pube, tomato sauce but we live and learn the second one i didn't i tried to reduce so you only need like three tablespoons of this the tomato sauce was too much if i yeah it was too much so please here just reduce it you see the way i've put like try and put half of it trust me trust me or if you love the tomato sauce it's okay you can do like i did but for me i, I prefer like more like crusty things so now i'm adding my cheese my mozzarella mm. cheese on top like how much uh, do you want added mozzarella that's 150 now here it's like i'm just topping it topping it topping it topping it and then i love onions guys i told you you can add any toppings that you prefer and me i prefer i love onions you can uh, onions and basil like basil is so good like who, who why did you guys not tell me about this why did you not tell me about this now i'm adding my i cook this minced meat and it was so good guys any this meal served me like the whole week i did not cook because i had the minced meat i didn't use all the meat on my topping so this is like a meal prep the minced meat that remained i eat it with pasta the other day and the other day like i was there i was rolling no more takeouts for kemunto 
no more tape counts so you can add basil the way you want for me i can advise you you add the basil after you've re removed this from the heat but you can do what you want okay you can do what you want so i'm just adding more mozzarella and then i finished up with the cheddar cheese you can like reduce the amount that you want it's all up to you for me the reason why i eat pizza is because of the cheese and yeah you can bake for you bake for 15 minutes or until the crust and cheese looks golden brown wow i did it guys i did it and if i can do it you too can you too can and that's how my pizza is mm -hmm. curry booty you're all welcome so we're going to make it bake for 15 minutes under the same degree uh, yeah i'm not forgetting the tomato sauce you remember it's too much so we preserve it on a clean film and we're going you you wait for before you put on the clean film not wait it for it to cool down like completely cool down don't put it on its hot because it will spoil and then put it on a clean film and tie it and freeze them this two bunches made me this this other day it made me like two past like pasta dishes yeah i made it with them i don't know if i did a video about it but if i did i'll share it on another video and that's how my pizza is looking i think it's looking good guys remember this is my first time making pizza so be nice be nice to your girl and comment my pizza is ready guys the pizza